working on lesson two of chapter 11, simplifying algebraic expressions. And that starts on page 558 of our math textbook. And we're working with variables. Variables are just unknown entities, in this case, x. And we're working with coefficients, numbers that are being multiplied to the variable. In this case, we have 7x or 7 times x. Or I like to think of it as x seven times. Um, so we're simplifying expressions. The difference and what really threw us with this is we have an expression with different variables. We don't just have x, we have x and we have n. We have x's and n's. So what we have to do to simplify is just combine all the like terms. And we had a little trouble identifying the like term, so let's take a look at it. A like term is a variable such as x, two identical variables like x and x, that are raised to the same power. So 3x has nothing to do with the coefficient. And that's what kind of threw us. The coefficients can be different, in this case 3x or x, but the x is identical. So 3x and 4x are like terms. And also with like or the same powers. Well, I don't see any powers here. So they have to have the same power. So if I had a 2x to the third power or cubed or something, that would not be a like term. It's very important. And that kind of threw us off. Can't have a different exponent or power. But 2x and 3x are, in fact, like terms. So let's look at some more. So we have 5a. And then let's look for another a. And they circled 5a in red. And they're going to circle another like term in red. So do you see any more a's? I see 2 thirds a. Well, the 2 thirds and 5 are different. 2 thirds and 5, that's OK. Those are the coefficients. The variable is the a. And they're like terms because they're identical letters. And they're raised to the same power, even though there's no power listed. They'd be raised to the first power. So 5a and 2 thirds times a are like terms. Well, what if I had 3a squared, or to the second power? Would that be a like term? Could I circle that in red, like 5a and 2 thirds times a? Is that a, a squared? Is that a like term? Think about that for a second. Can I circle this in red? And the answer is no, I can't. Why? because they're not like powers. a squared is a different power than a to the first power. And that's kind of what tripped us up on this. So they have to be have like powers, identical letters, like powers. Identical letters with like powers. So let's go ahead and combine these, or simplify these. So we have x, x. I got to get all my like terms together. So I'm just going to start on the left and move across. and. What am I doing? 3x. What do I do to this with this 4? Plus, I add it. 4x. And I, so 3x plus 4x, 3 plus 4 is 7x. I like to think of it as simply combining them or counting them. It's 3x's, x three times. 1, 2, 3. Adding four more x's. I have 1. 2, 3, 4, and I'm combining them. So let's move, take these. 3 plus 4 more. And I'm combining them. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7x. So I'll go ahead and write that part down. I have, to simplify the equation, instead of writing 3x plus 2n plus 4x plus 1n, I have, I'm going to write 7x. And now I have n here. I'm going to combine my n. So I have 2n. And what is it? what am I doing with this n here? Plus n. So another confusing thing is, is when people didn't see a number here, a coefficient. They said it doesn't have a coefficient, so they're not like terms. Well, it, if, it's, if there's just an n listed, what they're saying is it's 1n. It's just 1n. So in fact, it does have a coefficient in a way. 1n, 2n plus 1n, 2 
plus one. Think of that's the operation right here. Plus one would be three. So I like to I like to think of it as n two times one two plus and then plus one more n. That's three n. So I have three n's, two n plus one more n. So what I write here is I'm at plus three n. So I've combined my like terms, and then the next confusion is, well, I couldn't solve it. They didn't ask me to solve. They're saying simplify it. Just combine the like terms. So 7x plus 3n, 3x plus 4x is 7x, 2n plus one more n is 3n equals you're done. It's easier than you thought it was. So let's have you try one on your own. Click pause on the video and write this in your math journal. So now that we're back, we have 4x plus 2n plus x plus 3n. So we have our like terms, x, identical letters, raised to the same power. Well, it doesn't list anything. Think of it as just 1. If it doesn't list a power, it's x to 1, the first power. Also, there's no coefficient here. Well, it's 1x. So 4 and it's plus 1x. So that's going to be 5x, or I like to think of it as, let me get my magic x here. I have 4x's. And plus, think of that, plus one more x, this x here. And then I have 2n, 2n's, plus, there's a plus 3n's, add three more n's. So start with 4x, add two n's, add another x, and now I get to add um, two more n's. Or three more n's, excuse me. One, two, three. And then just simplifying it is what I'm doing, is combining them all together. So these all go over here. So let's see what we have. 4x plus 1x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x. I have 5x. Now, x and n are different. I can't add them together plus, because I don't know what they are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2n, 3n, plus 5n. So I've simplified my equation, and I can't solve it unless I plug in some values for n and values for x. So that's basically what we're doing. Simplifying equation is combining like terms today.